Today, we're covering the most important things you need to know about the gluteal muscles. So let's get to it. Now, there are four muscles in the gluteal group, and they all originate off the posterior ilium, which is this part of the hip bone right here, the upper part. And so what the first muscle we'll talk about is the largest muscle in the entire body, the gluteus maximus. Now, most people assume that the glute max is so big, it just must cover this entire ilium and just take up all this real estate. But in reality, the glute max has a very small footprint on the ilium itself. This blue part right here is the origin point of the gluteus maximus. And as you can see, it comes off basically just the posterior edge of the ilium, off the sacrum and off the coccyx as well. So understanding where the glute max is and where it originates is very key to understanding the entire gluteal group. So the way I remember this is with a little rhyme that says, the glute max is where the butt cracks. So that reminds me it's very posteriorly, it originates very posteriorly off all the bones that kind of angle in to the gluteal cleft, aka what your six-year-old nephew would call the crack. Another misconception about the gluteus maximus is that it basically runs like this, straight up and down. But actually the fibers run diagonally a little something more like this. So it originates off the posterior ilium, the sacrum and the coccyx, the fibers then run diagonally and insert in two different places. The majority of the fibers end up going and running into the iliotibial band, while the rest of the fibers insert on the posterior femur at a spot called the gluteal tuberosity. So with these insertions, the glute max's main actions are hip extension, things like getting out of a chair, uh, walking upstairs, and then with this insertion point at the IT band, it has some leverage to perform hip external rotation. Our next muscle, the gluteus medius, has a much larger footprint on the ilium itself. So it originates out the posterior ilium, it then runs down and inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur. Its little buddy, the gluteus minimus, right here in the blue, is basically directly underneath the medius, and it does the same thing, basically it runs down and inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur, just a little bit more anteriorly. So one way you can remember this is that the lesser glutes, the medius and the minimus, go to the greater trochanter, while the greatest glute, the maximus, just goes to the little sliver of the femur that the gluteal tuberosity. Finally, our last muscle is the tensor fasciae latae, or TFL. So obviously it doesn't have gluteus in its name, but it is considered part of the gluteal group. So the TFL originates off the lateral edge of the anterior superior iliac spine. And the way I think about that is it's the most anterior muscle of this group, and so it originates off the most anterior part of the ilium, which is the ASIS. This muscle then runs inferiorly and its tendon blends into the iliotibial band in kind of the same way that the gluteus maximus does. So we take a closer look at the iliotibial band. So it would run right here all the way down. It moves all the way down the lateral side of the femur and then inserts on Gertie's tubercle right here on the tibia. So it passes the knee, goes to the tibia and inserts on this place called Gertie's tubercle. Now Gertie's tubercle is a pretty important place to remember. So the way I think about it is, well, this is the IT band, and if you imagine having a band full of people that worked in IT, well, they'd probably play some pretty nerdy songs, but like a good kind of nerdy, almost like a Gertie. And that reminds me of Gertie's tubercle. So I think an IT band is gonna play some nerdy music, but a good kind of nerdy. So that reminds me of Gertie's tubercle right here on the lateral anterior side of the tibia. Now as for actions, the gluteus medius, minimus, and TFL all contribute to hip abduction, like this. They also help with hip internal rotation when the hip is flexed. But their main job day to day is to keep this pelvis stable while we walk. So if you imagine when we're walking, one foot will leave the ground as it takes a step, so we'll keep that foot out of the way. And what happens when we're stepping is gravity wants to pull the side down that doesn't have a leg to stand on. So that kind of happens what would happen naturally. However, these muscles that we're talking about here, their job is to contract and pull this pelvis over uh, to the other side. And so that'll keep that nice horizontal pelvic line and make sure when we're walking, we don't dip down with every step. So the main job of these muscles really is to keep that horizontal pelvic line, pull that pelvis over and prevent us going into a Trendelenburg gait. Now I do have a separate video all about the Trendelenburg gait and some good mnemonics there about how to remember it. And I'll link that in the comments below. Innervations. So the good news here is you only have to worry about two different nerves. The gluteus medius, minimus, and TFL are all supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. 
while the gluteus maximus is the only muscle supplied by the inferior gluteal nerve. And this kind of makes sense if you think about the location of these muscles. Obviously, the medius, minimus, and TFL, kind of the bulk of those muscles you'll find a little bit more superiorly, while the gluteus maximus, the bulk of that muscle is a little more inferior, so it makes sense why we get the inferior gluteal nerve. Another way you can think about this if you're having trouble visualizing this on a test is just to think about going to a movie, sitting on your butt, and watching an IMAX. Okay, so think about the name IMAX. The I there stands for the inferior gluteal nerve, and the max, of course, stands for the gluteus maximus, so that reminds you of the muscle and the innervation. And from there, of course, you can kind of eliminate the rest and figure out the other three muscles are innervated by the superior gluteal nerve. All right, so that covers the gluteal group. We're gonna continue more hip videos coming soon. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.